Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Andrea. I hope you're having a good day. It is awful in Chicago today. It's rainy and it's cold. And I thought I would do a react because I got a notification uh, that Alex posted another video. I hope Alex doesn't get offended that I use his videos because he's so funny and he's so talented. And I, I, I just, I can't with this guy. I haven't, re I haven't even watched this one yet. So um, I'm just gonna react to it in real time. I, I haven't. I, I know Jen's in it. I don't know a lot about Jen. Um, I know that she was in the hospital recently. I think she's still in there. Uh, I don't really know too much about her, but I guess we'll. I'm. I think I'm gonna start watching her. She seems like a nice girl. She doesn't have like that ratchet personality like Amber, but we'll see. Um. And, you know, also the fact that Alex is so good at his editing, which I hope one day I'm as good as he is. He's just awesome. Um, that's why I pick because his are just he's funny and he's even funnier when he doesn't realize he's being funny. He's just funny. OK, let's get into it. Alex here. Welcome back to an Alex's Shook reaction plus a little bit of tea. Yes, we've got dinner and a movie today for you guys. We're going to be taking a look at Amberlynn's latest upload, which was actually sorry guys, really called losing weight after a breakup. Way in, he looks great. Look at him. It looks like he got a haircut. I love him. He's so funny. Ten twenty-seven. So this video actually went up yesterday. And we're also going to talk about a community tab post from Life by Jen. I know that a lot of people are worried about Jen and what exactly is going on. Yeah, I heard the very little I know about her. I heard that she people were thinking that she wasn't going to make it. That's sad. She seems like a nice girl on with her so we're gonna take a look at her new update today is going to be a lot of good news which is much different than the things that we have been covering lately so let's have a little fun on a little bit of a positivity episode of alex's shook let's just get right into it shall we did that make sense i hope that made sense anyways let's talk about jennifer gwen Anne and her latest community tab post it looks like some good news from jen which i'm so happy to see hello from the world of physical therapy just wanted to send a pic along to show you all my progress my weight loss is going very well i was shocked to see how my face has shrunk and i am progressing very well with therapy you could tell her face looks smaller good for her I get therapy three times a day, including strength training and walking practice. Emotionally, therapy is going well, too. I'm working on my ED and past trauma. Things are looking up. To be honest, this was the update that I think that I needed. Some positivity in this community for once. Things are looking up for Jen, and I can't wait to see what she has in store for the future. All right, you guys, so we are here for the main event, oh, and that is Amberlynn's latest vlog, Losing Weight After a Breakup. Yes. Take a look at this like-to-dislike ratio, one that we don't usually see with Amberlynn. Wow. There's a lot of positivity surrounding her videos lately. I noticed that a lot of people are fed up with the live streams, but they seem to enjoy the videos from Amber. And I think I'm in that same boat where I'm really over those live streams from her, but that's okay if that's what she wants to do because she's also putting out vlogs with those i refuse to give her a view with those live streams i used to i used to watch her i used to be subscribed to her years ago which oddly enough she was more obnoxious back then because she was constantly putting a camera in people's faces that didn't clearly didn't want to be on camera but i don't know i guess i didn't know what a phony baloney she was then so i was subscribed to her and then i don't know she she's another one like foodie beauty like Chantal, they went off the deep end and I'm like, yeah, I'm not even dealing with that as well. So she can make both parties happy. Hey guys, welcome to my Wednesday. We love to see it. I do like this. Okay, so I decided to I'm make... never going to stop doing that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> these weigh-ins just a little bit more entertaining for you guys every single wednesday okay so you didn't think that they were entertaining enough before <laughs> if you guys remember in the previous weigh-in video that was actually the video that she was crying before she got on camera to make it why do you guys believe her when she says that she's full of beans 
She says this for attention. And even if she was crying, why would you need to tell us that? We weren't there. Why tell us? Unless you want pity. Okay. I'm going to go on my Instagram. If you don't follow me there, my name is Verity Cat, R-A-R-I-T-Y-C-A-T. I think I even followed her there too. I'll have to look again. I'm gonna I ask love when she acts like we're brand new. You guys ask me weight loss, weight gain, weight journey type of questions because okay. I want to answer three questions per week. So she's going to be responding to some comments. We're having like a comment of the day situation. I know that has always caused her a little bit of trouble in the past. You know, now when I use the word situation in my regular life, I question myself. I'm like, wait, am I, am I using it correctly? Because she's like killed it for me. I can't be the only one that feels like that. Past, but she's struggling to fill these uh, videos up with content. So it would make sense that she would need to do like comment of the day or something. Weigh in. I just figured it would give me more topics to talk I actually about. Like because sometimes I'm sitting over here like, hmm, what do I say? So I guess after you film your life first. It's so weird. She would just put random goofy crap in all her, her vlogs. And all of a sudden she has like this world's biggest brain fart and she doesn't know what to put in a video. Like, what did you used to do? Silly nonsense. Keep doing that. You've got tons of views. Six years, it does, or was it seven or eight? I'm not sure. Whatever. Eight. For that length of time, you can struggle on things to talk about, especially if there's not. Really? I can't get enough. Like, there's a million videos that I, I want to, if I was good at editing or knew how to do it yet, which I'm going to learn to do soon. I'm just not good. I'm not tech savvy. My three-year-old niece is better at working my phone than I am. Once I get better at that, there is so much content you can do. I mean, do what, there's the possibilities are endless. How do you just, although she doesn't leave her house. So maybe that's a little bit of a struggle. I could kind of see that. But you show us like your goofy Lego stuff. You have shown us like, what shampoo you use? Like, are you kidding me? You can figure out something to... Or learn a different hobby so that you have content. This is your bread and butter. You have no other, like, life skills. You have to do this so that you have a roof over your head and you have money for your bills. So figure it out. Just don't be here like a clueless dingbat. Like, what do I do? I don't know what to put in my videos. Figure it out that much going on in your life but the truth of the matter is Amberlynn was getting the most views and the most attention when she practically couldn't even leave the bed so it yep. takes some sort of genius mastermind to create such a whirlwind from just a laptop right <laughs> or phone i'm gonna start off every single way in with those three questions the first one is are you still planning on getting weight loss surgery the answer is pretty simple why would i need weight loss surgery if i'm doing it on my own is she account? actually standing now she's standing so she sits by her standing desk but stands by the counter what some people think i'm not losing weight as fast as i should which i totally understand but sometimes i actually disagree with that i think that if she genuinely is losing weight the way that she says she is because she's not doing the weigh ins in front of us, which either way, I don't care. I mean, stay 600 pounds if that's what you want to do, whatever floats your boat. But um, me personally, I don't think that she is. She doesn't look like she is. She does these comparison photos on her other her social media, on her TikTok, on her um, Instagram, on her Facebook or whatever. And then she'll do the before and after, but she's wearing a bun in all her befores. So your face obviously looks very different. I mean, that's why I hate wearing my hair down or my hair up because I look like a, a friggin' pumpkin when I wear my hair all of it up in a bun. So wearing your hair down when you're big, you know, kind of camouflages your face, I guess. So yeah, you're going to look completely different with your hair down as opposed to your hair up. Hello. I feel like weight loss surgery could be such a good tool for her if she took it seriously. Um, she's yeah. already doing well, losing weight on her own. Um, that's usually a prerequisite before they will do the surgery for you. True. Just thoughts. It's up to her. 
Sometimes it's like slow and steady wins the race. If I can lose weight without I actually agree with surgery, her. then that's what I'm going to do. So currently in this moment, yeah. no, I am not interested in weight loss surgery. Next question is, what are some really low calorie snacks? From I don't plan? know. I just feel like it would be Who so... Who is asking her these questions? I think she's making these up. Who would ask her advice? Who asks the 600 pound person for diet advice? No. No. Good for her. You know, I mean, she could lose a couple hundred uh, first. Binging. I have been... My heater just turned on. Sorry if that's going to annoy you guys. I have been eating a lot of watermelon. If I feel a binge or like if I feel just like head hunger okay. or boredom hunger, I allow myself to eat, but... I only allow myself to eat watermelon. Watermelon is super healthy for you. It's a lot of water in that watermelon, hence. Wa super healthy? What? I mean, I get it that it's healthier than like a Five Guys cheeseburger. Totally get that. But it's definitely not health. I mean, she's diabetic or she says she's not diabetic, but I don't see how that's possible. Um, that's a huge no-no for like people with diabetes. I thought it had a lot of sugar in it. I, that's what I thought. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Water. Yeah, there is a lot of water in there. Then again, it's healthier than, like I said, a cheeseburger. Not many calories either. I love fruit as well. Um, I've just been really into sugar lately. It's not good. I love sugar all the time. I know it's awful. That's why I'm fat. Not good. Melon. It's a melon full of water. What can I say? And it really satisfies me. I love the crunch. I love the sweetness. I love the waterness. What is with me in water today? I, I don't know. And then if I'm really like, okay, I want a sweet moment. It's a melon with water. Who would have guessed? <laughs> waterness. I laugh when she makes up these weird words. My husband does that and I call it his hillbonics because he'll take like two words and mush them together. I just had this conversation with him. With a friend of mine, it's funny. I mean, I think it's funny. She genuinely thinks these are words, though. And I don't want to deprive myself from that. This is what I have. Yasso. You're upside coffee down. Coffee poppables. Yasso coffee poppables. I'm going to have to get me some of those. They look good. I enjoy the Yasso. It's pretty good. Never heard of um, it. It's not ice cream, though. You know? I realize that it's not supposed to be, but it's just not. Only 60 calories per one. I have one and it honestly well, satisfies my craving. So thank you for these. Thank you, universe, for making these. I appreciate it. Okay, this. I feel like that's a good idea. I mean, only 60 calories and then you can um, satisfy that craving and so it doesn't lead to binging. Much. So the third question for this video is, how much weight have you lost since the breakup? So as you guys know, I daily journal every single day and whenever I wake I don't know why that's important. Who cares? myself i always put my weight in my journal so i can remember i actually went back to the day after becky broke up with me and said why can't i stop staring at her cleavage i feel like she doesn't have a bra on Ew. since then i have lost 51 pounds 50 wow i mean sometimes breakups can be good for people i believe that trisha paytas actually had a little weight loss after she broke up with jason nash i think that was something wow. that she had talked about on her channel I like how Amberlynn's uh, recent vlogs are a lot about showing us that okay. she, you, you know, actually does moment? things like the whole beginning of this video on um, her previous. I would pay a large sum of money if she would stop using the word moment for everything. This weekly vlog was her just kind of doing cleaning, you know, the everyday chores that most of us do. Which it was nice to see. I mean, she wants to show us that she is capable of taking care of herself on her own. I think that that's what this is. But um, it's positive to see, right? I mean, she's taking a little bit more steps in adding things to her content. Yeah, um, like the cleaning with the music in the background. I think it's pleasant. 51, y'all. I... <laughs> Oh, it's clearly speechless. Yeah. If it wasn't for this question and someone asking that, I would have never known that the breakup actually... You know what I noticed? She hasn't used the word literally 8,000 times today. So weird. She uses that word a lot. It was a really good thing for my weight loss. I know there are people out there who are like... I think at the end of the day, it's going to be a good thing for both of them. It might be hard. They might be struggling right now. But I think most people agree with that sentiment that yeah. they were kind of toxic together in the way that they relied on each other. Yeah, definitely. I agree. 
The difference is like when, and I'm not defending Becky because I don't care for her. I think she has the personality of a rock. But when Becky describes, you know, the breakup and why they needed to break up, she explains like, and she explains it in a healthier way. Like they were toxic for each other or they just weren't good for each other or whatever. Right. But this one here, this, this jerk, um, it's always with shade, always. And she'll always start it with no tea, no shade, but it's shade. Just say, like, you were toxic for each other and let it go. The reason why Amberlynn's losing weight is because Becky's not there to get her junk food. Duh. For the last year, Becky hasn't been getting me junk food. It's been myself. Instacart, I can literally... Yeah. Instacart oh, God, she, she just said it. Exactly. She lives in Lexington, guys. It's not like where she used to live, where you... If for nothing else, I'm going to learn to edit very well just to bleep out literally and moment. Seriously. Couldn't really get any food. I know that there was like one pizza place or something like that. You guys get it. But now she has Uber Eats, DoorDash, Instacart, all of that kind of stuff that some of us take That's for crazy. granted. Because right now, if I wanted to, Uber Eats runs 24-7. So if I want a 20-piece nugget and a McFlurry from McDonald's, I can totes get that at 3 a.m. But oh, I, choose God. Not. Totes. I can totes get that at 3 a.m. I'm just in a Love happier that. place for a million different reasons. And it's healthy. It won't even deliver to me like that late at night anymore. Let's be real. It's because of Jade. And that's cool. But why lie about it over and over and over and over and over again? Like one time I... It was like 3 a.m. This is not my proudest moment, okay? <laughs> it was like 3 a.m. I wanted McDonald's. There is a 24-hour McDonald's, but it's like three miles or so from here and nobody picked up my order so they just canceled it yeah that, oh that's a goodness. sad sad story okay <laughs> me thrive more for myself i feel super empowered to finally be the person that i've been waiting to be it's like i'm tired of sitting around waiting around to be someone that i know i am on the inside so it's time to do it now what was All it right. amber i mean what exactly is getting her into gear this time is it because she is you know, she wants a new partner and she wants to work on herself so that she is good for that new partner. Is it because she already has a new partner? And they're I feel like probably there's a, a bunch of different factors of why she's this new person. Um, I mean, obviously, we all saw that Jade was there. She showed her. She's the one who doxed her. Um, she can deny it all she wants in all of her live streams. She can keep denying it. But we know that she's there, whatever. And it's her prerogative if she doesn't want to share that part. You want to be a big fat liar, that's on you. But a huge part of why she's losing the weight, obviously we know it's because of Jade. But I think that for whatever reason, like the better sleep pattern is definitely helping. She's taking her medication on time, supposedly. Um, all these little things that are factoring in like the getting the right sleep, eating better, not having mush brain from all the crap that she used to eat. It's making her think clearer. She even sounds slightly more intelligent than she used to. I don't know if you guys remember, but in a, for the past couple of years, everything was always like in the middle of a vlog, she'd be like, she'd make up one of her Hobonic words and, and be like, is that a word? I don't know. And then like, she honestly would have like a huge brain fart and not even know if that was a legit word. And she would still use it. But here she doesn't do it as much. She does use dumb words still, but not as much as she used to. She kind of just seems like she's less foggy brained or whatever. Less of a dingbat. I mean, she's still a dingbat, but less of a dingbat. And it, like I said, I think it's a lot of little different things that are factored into it. So I'm here for it. I like it. I mean, she's still annoying as hell, but she's slightly less obnoxious. They're telling her what to do. I'm rambling too much. Let's get to my weigh-in. So last Wednesday on October 20th, I weighed five. Oh, for God's sake. I hope it's not five point something, point something, minus five point. Because that is like, what are we doing here with the point this and the point that? 9.6. That night, I ended up having cheesy bread. Oops. Cheesy bread for me is a cheesy little bit bread. of an over eight moment. It's not really quite a binge, but it's... it's that sounds good. I mean, what cheesy bread are we talking about from your fridge? Every time I, I say that she's not doing something as often, she goes and does it. An eight moment? What is that? An eight moment? Explain that, Amber. Edge, put a little cheese on it and in the toaster oven or like Little Caesar's cheesy bread. 
Ooh, big uh, calorie difference there. It's definitely a moment where I'm like, shit, I am overeating. Texas this toast. Is a bad choice, but I still do it anyway. The next day, October 21st, I weighed in at 508.8, which was a 0.8 weight loss. October 22nd was a 509.2, which I gained 0.4, which kind of <gasps> shocked me, but I accepted it. October 23rd was a 508.4, which was down another 0.8. October 24th was a 507.0, so I was down 1.4. And unfortunately, that day, this girl's not wearing a bra. I overate again. I ended up having Cold Stone as a dessert instead Ooh. of reaching for my poppables and watermelons. Chop, chop, fold, fold. If you know, you know. I'm not perfect. <laughs> I don't even know where there's a Cold Stone located. And I'm in Chicago. I'm like not far from downtown Chicago. I couldn't even tell you where there's a Cold Stone. She's in the middle of like where Jesus left his shoes and she knows where there's a Cold Stone. And she doesn't have a car. How do you do that? And then later that night, I had cheesy bread again. So I knew I was going to step on the scale the next day and not be happy. And I was right. On October 20th. On a total separate subject, I was thinking about this the other day. How do you get that? I've never worn a choker, but how do you get that on? Does it clip on or does she have to put that over her gigantic head? I don't know why I need to know that. I just want to know. I guess I could just Google it, right? But if anyone knows, please tell me. Fifth, I weighed in at 508.4, which was a 1.4 and this was the day where I was like, Does Amber like cheesy. Trader Joe's? I feel like she would like Trader Joe's. Red, enough messing around. We have goals to reach, ma'am. And my goals reaching those are going to taste so much better than any cheesy bread ever could. So October 26th, I weighed exactly. in at 507.0, which was a 1.4 weight loss. And then October 27th, I weighed in, which was today, at 506.2, which was a 0.8 okay. weight loss. So, this so she's week, getting closer and closer to the 400s. I have lost 3.4 pounds. Could be better, but I'm still happy with it. I so know that she was down. She was game. down to like 400 something about a year ago, and then 2021 was a little bit of a backslide. And if you do take a look at her breakup video with Becky, I personally believe that you can tell, like you can tell the difference. So here is her with Becky. Um, in but like I said before, her hair is up in all these, so I don't know. I can't. I don't think that you can compare them. Not that it makes a difference. Like I said, if she wants to stay 600 pounds, that's on her. June, this is announcing their breakup, and here she is 50 pounds down in our recent video. In total, I have lost 66.2 pounds. That means I am 3.8 oh, wow. away from losing that's 70. That's awesome. That's Even Rarity's talking about that. 70 pounds for me is such like a pivotal moment. and I'm So is she putting true. her starting weight at 572 again? Or was she back up to 570? I'm more excited for 75 because that's three fourths of 100 pounds. So as you guys know, I do have a weight loss goal of 499.8 by November 1st. <laughs> I have five weigh-ins because I weigh in daily to lose six points. Wait, I'm sorry. What was the goal? 499.8 by November 1st. I have five weigh-ins because I weigh in daily to lose 6.4 pounds to reach that goal. You guys will find out if I reach that goal. Okay, so she's setting like some little goals. Her first goal is to be in the 400s. I like that. That's On my cool. next Wednesday weigh-in, I am going to try every single day. I will not have cheesy bread. I will not have cold stone. I just really want to be in the 400s. And it's coming up. It is coming soon and I'm so excited. It's like, I really hope it that is. next weigh-in, I could be like, I'm down over 70 pounds and I reach my goal. I don't want to hide. first is coming up though, guys. Well, you don't have to be cocky about it. Like, come on. We've seen this before. And then you would gain, like, it all back and then some. I don't know. She just doesn't know how to be humble, in my opinion. Guys, that's, what, four days away? We got uh, 29th, 30th, 31. If anyone up, because I could fail. 6.4 pounds in five weigh-ins. Come on. Don't let that Halloween candy get you, girl. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this weigh-in. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. <laughs> All right, you guys, it's our favorite time of the day. And that is, of course, comment of the day. Today's comment comes in from yesterday's video, which was called Becky's Discord Drama, oh as well God. as Foodie is Getting Lawyers Involved. And I just wanted to thank you guys for the support on this video. Yes, I'm invested in these two subjects right here. We knocked it out of the park, I do have to say. So today's comment of the day comes from Cherry Nicole who says, Chantal's attorney is contacting May's attorney for what? Isn't this between Natter and May? I'm not educated when it comes to lawyer stuff, but it just seems odd to me. So I've got quite a few comments talking. Chantal's another one who's full of beans. She's so full of beans.
about this uh, specific fact. Why is Chantal the one getting the attorney? It's because Chantal is the one with money. Let's be real here. That's why she's the one with the attorney. But to be honest, I don't even know if she really has an attorney or not. I don't deny that Chantel probably does well on YouTube. I'm sure she does. But why does everyone talk about her like, you know, she's some kind of millionaire or something. I mean, she drives around on that jalopy. I don't know. Where does it? She doesn't live in a mansion. She lives in some like condo with Pete's. Where does everyone get this impression that she's just like rolling in the dough? Unless I missed something, but I don't. I don't see it. I mean, she still shops at like Torrid and these are not high end stores. And like I said, she drives around in that jalopy. I don't, I don't get it. She could just be talking those big girl words. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What do you think about Life by Jen? Yes, it's nice to see her back with an update, as well as Amber Lynn, who is completely turning things around. Is this finally Amber Lynn's time? She seems to think it might be. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. I will, of course, catch you guys in the, the next one. Bye, guys. I love him. He's awesome. Oops, sorry, guys. Let me get back in here. Um... I don't know if uh, anybody else watches Orko. I've mentioned him in my videos before. He's awesome, too. He's so funny. I don't feel like he posts enough, though. Um, I wish he would do a video for every single one. But I know he edits a lot in his video, so it's a lot of work. A lot of work. Um, but, oh, my God, they're so funny. And I could use some Orko in my life. Anyways, okay. Uh, so I need to go and bake a cake that I've been putting off. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.